Welcome to Who's Doing the Dishes. Today we're in the beautiful Cheshire countryside where our team of diners are on their final detective trail to try and piece together which celebrity lives here. But first, you work it out. Ah yes, nature, glorious sunshine, rolling hills that go on and on. Oh look at me. Blame on the weatherman. Put a smell on you. Ah, I can feel it in the air. Today's gonna be pretty magical. Today's celebrity has doubled its hand. Not me, it's yourself. Here's ya. How would you know you are? That's all I'm grand. That's a lucky town. How would I know? Have you worked it out yet? Well, if our team gets correctly, they'll win their last collective 500 pounds for the week. Plus, our celebrity has to do their own dishes. Bang my patties on a bun. Or no, not the dishes. And if after six clues our team still haven't got it, they can always opt for one extra special clue, known as... Brian's Bonus. I think they can come. So, have you figured it out yet? Well, it's only Monday. The lead singer, the biggest ever Irish girl band bewitched, it's Adele. Hey, hello. 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 Why am I on a farm? Because I've turned into a farmer. You have turned into a farmer. Yeah. Far from the streets of Dublin, this. <laughs> I made you a cuppa. Should we go outside and have it? Absolutely. Have you spare weddings? <laughs> Singer-songwriter Adele Lynn shot to fame in the late 90s as part of Irish girl band Bewitched. Alongside twin sister Kiwi, the girl scored four consecutive number ones as well as selling a whopping six million records worldwide. After calling it quits in the early 90s, the girls recently reunited for ITV's big reunion. When she's not being a pop star, you might find Adele chasing chickens. So how have you been? Good, it's really good. You're on a farm. I can't believe we're on a farm. I know, it's such a new life, but I love it. How did it feel to be a part of one of the biggest girl bands ever? Your first four singles all went straight yeah. to number one. That was, must have been incredible. It really was. We were only young. We were just out of school. Yeah. We were being spoiled, rotten left, right and centre. We saw the whole world. I mean, I remember growing up saying I always wanted to be a singer. And when you're in school, like the teachers are like, all right, you're being foolish, pick a real job, you know? So when it actually happens, you think, well, I can't believe I pulled it off, you know? Mm. <laughs> it's kind of weird for me talking because I remember our first gig was on the same stage as we rich. You just got to number one in Ireland with your first single. Yeah. It's almost like we were the male version of which is the exact same kind of start. It happened really fast. You know, having the number ones, mm. it, it's 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 kind of like talking to myself almost with long hair. Then we should put wig on you. Interesting. Mm. So besides pretty much living on Emmerdale Farm, uh -huh. uh, what else have you been doing? I mean, I've had three kids since, so most of my time is spent with them as much as I can. Still singing with the girls. <laughs> I mean, we split up for years, but then we came back into the big reunion. Yeah. So we've finally been together since. Um, still gigging all of that stuff, really. So how do you feel about four strangers coming to the house tonight? Grant. Are you competitive? I am quite competitive. But these ladies know pretty much everything. Really? Yeah. Because I don't want to do my dishes, though. I'm not doing my dishes. Well, this is going to be an interesting fight tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Let's get started. Go on. Well, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. Meet this week's team, the Golden Girls. They may be old enough for a free bus pass, but when it comes to dating celebrities, they don't miss a trick. Golden Girls will show people what we can do. You know, we don't pass our sale by a date. You know, we've got a lot to offer. And we've come up trumps. We've got three at four. The week has been fantastic. One of the best weeks I think I've ever had. And tonight is going to be one big celebration night. <laughs> If we win tonight, the four of us would jump through the roof. Watch out, celebrity. We golden girls are coming for you. <laughs> we will get you. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Perhaps the safety of Adele's kitchen will calm my nerves. She's preparing her first clue. So, Adele, what are we having for starters? Bruschetta. And what are you going to call this bruschetta? I'm going to call it bruschetta with singing tomatoes. And basil leading to a girl. Okay, so I'm guessing that singing is because you're a singer and the leading is because you're the lead singer. Gotcha, Very good clue, I like it. So if you were on their table, they wouldn't even have your little golden, what was it called again? The witch. Your Brian thing my, at the end. My Brian's bonus. They're, They're not Brian's getting that. The They're not getting that. Listen, the ladies, the ladies love Brian's bonus. They're a big fan of watching him perform. Speaking of performing, <laughs> ah, the four number ones. What was that moment, you know, that part of your career where something happens and you go, this is serious, that it's not just... You know, this isn't just a kind of flash in the pan, this is a serious thing. Do you know what I think? The moment for me when I knew something was really going on, we went to Australia, we're walking down the beach in our bikinis, no makeup, and the whole beach literally just stopped what they were doing and stared at the four of us walking down the beach. You, you don't think that could be the fact that you're Irish?
It's the last night tonight. We're on a roll now. So that's it. We are staying on that roll. Staying on top. Nobody's going to defeat us. We've got our hands on a high, haven't we? We're going to go out with a bang. Yes to the golden dress. Yes yeah. to the golden dress. We're going to win the money. We're going to win the money. Well, the gold girls are the only ones with their perfectly painted claws out. I feel pretty, oh so pretty, I feel pretty. Now I smell pretty. Oh, it smells good. Mm, it's time for the next clue. Oh, it's time for the next clue. Right, what are we having for mains? We are having lobster with double helpings. See the royalties are still coming in. <laughs> so we're going to have like double garlic butter, double bits of salad, we're going to have double parmesan shavings, and I'm even going to give two forks and two knives. What's and that? Two wine glasses. Well, because I'm a double. I'm a, I have oh, a double. I'm a twin. twin thing. Just blame it on the women. So the double helpings is because, well, pretty much you're a double helping. You're a twin. You see. Of course, you got the double denim if you want to speak of that too. I like that. So it's a double clue. Oh, hey, hey! It's even a double clue. <laughs> I like it. I like, I like it. it a lot. <laughs> so you were always really, really close. Really close. So we still are. When we were younger, we used to know how each other felt. You know the whole twin thing they all talk about. Yeah. It does exist. Really? Yeah, and sometimes I can even contact her if no I want way. to. Yeah. Well, shall I try? Yeah, do it. Okay, ready? Easy, easy, easy. I think they can Does it work? I don't think so. <laughs> You're really good. What do we have for dessert? We are having rolling chocolate fountain with a coaster of marshmallows together. I'd seen them there. Yeah, and I'm going to serve them in cauldrons. Do you get that? That's for Bewitched. Of course it is. So we've got roller coaster and Bewitched, of course, your number one single. Dun, dun, dun. I just still can't get my head around you milking cows and running after chickens. And... Yeah, will I show you? What? Chuck, 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 chuck,
doing the dishes. I'm in the kitchen with today. Secret celebrity host, 90s pop sensation, Adele Lynch. From Bewitched, she preparing starters for a full of lovely ladies. And here our golden girls await their first course and their first clue to see if they can figure out who I was just hanging out with in the kitchen. Guess right, and they'll end their week with an extra 500 pounds. But Adele will be left to get dirty with the dishes. C'est la vie. God, they're very glamorous, aren't they? Well, first impressions, Gales. I don't know about you, but I think it's a real family home. I was about to say that. You took the words out of my mouth. Family home. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? When you walk in past Wendy's that size, <laughs> a little bit of a giveaway. What age group would you say? I'd say young. Could be 40 ish. Could be. Yeah. Could be someone older that has grandchildren. Yeah, that's true. Possibility. Yeah. Of course, it's not someone who is a private person because they are quite close to their neighbours, so they probably don't mind that interaction. I'm not a recluse, basically, they're saying. How's that flat? Well, you did move to a farm, in fairness. <laughs> it's a little bit of a recluse thing to do. Yeah. A farm with neighbours. See, they're more clever than you are. You can't really call the chickens neighbours. <laughs> They've got eggs, maybe, with the chickens. You know, they're out there on the front with the eggs. <laughs> could sell them to passers-by, could <laughs> yeah, We need a clue. Yeah, we need a clue. We need a clue. Bring on the start of starving. Right, they want a clue. Let's give them one. Starters, let's get it on. Right, remind me what this is called. This is uh, bruschetta with singing tomatoes and basil with... Um, singing what? Say tomatoes. Tomatoes? What would you say tomatoes? You like tomatoes and I like tomatoes. Let's call the whole thing tomatoes. We're in the UK now, my dear. You were not brought up in tomatoes. It's, it's howling tomatoes. But I'm not from the UK, so it's right, tomatoes. Then. Right, singing tomatoes. Singing tomatoes. tomatoes. Rochetto with singing tomatoes. Basil leading to a garlic kick. Yeah. I like it. It's a clue to tell the ladies that you're a lead singer. So it's good. It's a good clue. Right, let's see what the ladies think. Right, go for it. It does culinary clue may sound like a tasty cheese to a pop or soda, but will it lead the golden girls down the right path? So, how are we girls? Fine. Good. First impressions, what are we thinking? Well, I'm thinking it's a family. Okay. I'm thinking maybe someone in the mid-forces, maybe. I think it's a couple that don't mind their neighbours being close by. They think it's a couple. That's good. Here it is. It's your starter and your first clue. This is bruschetta with singing tomatoes, balsamic leading to a garlic kick. You like tomatoes. Ooh, that is nice. I think it makes me nervous when I'm eating my food. <laughs> so the ultimate bit here, I think, is singing. So maybe it's a, it's a could be a tonight. trip though. Could be a singer. See, now I'm thinking Italian. It's a, an Italian dish. So I'm thinking an Italian singer. I am Italian. An Italian singer, I am, yes. No. No, absolutely not. Italian singers. They're no. um, saying I'm an Italian singer. Italiano. Who lives on a farm in Cheshire. Have you got somebody like, you know, El Devo? They've got Italians in them, haven't they? Yeah. Not or necessarily. Could be somebody could be English. from, from uh, say, you know, um, a soap opera. Yeah. Is there, are there any Italians in any soap oh, operas? Get off the Italian. Yeah, Italian no, just because it's bruschetta. I do bruschetta and I'm not Italian. That's true. You don't have to be Italian to eat no, you don't have to, but it is an Italian starter. I'm pretty sure it's it's not Italian. Then she says, Peter K. Garlic bread. Peter K. <laughs> Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. What's she say? Garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> you said something about leading. You seem to say that really, you know, leading. Mmm. Mm. Lead singer. Peter K. I mean, he sings. He's not known as a singer, is no, he? No, but he does sing. No, but he does sing. He did, he did that um, is this the way to ride oh. the railway? <laughs> yeah, it is that. Sing the ring here, wait for me. Is this the way to Ireland? No. You're away, you're away. I need some more. That's where my eggs go. <laughs> I think it's somebody out, maybe, possibly out of an English group. Group? She got a little bit close. Could be Natasha <laughs> Hamilton. I know she used to be in a band. She was a singer. Who was she with? Uh, she was with... with um, um, oh, um, Something Kittens. Uh, yeah, it's it's atomic it's Kittens. Oh, yeah. Next thing I'll think you're Carrie Katona. Yes, I'm in the kitchen with my ex-wife. Awkward. What about H House of Steps? They're something with the right ear, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're close already. I'm not happy about this. Right, so they're, they're good so far. They're after getting the fact that it's a lead singer. They are. They're in the right ear because they've I said bands like Atomic Kitten. They've said uh, Steps. 
I told you these girls don't mess around. Right, let's give them a clue and see if we can get maybe troll them off track a bit. What have you got? The next clue is a yellow brick road leading to an emerald ring. What's that mean? It's like a nod to Ireland. A nod to Ireland? That's not even a twitch to Ireland. That's not like... <laughs> yeah, but that's the plan. Because I don't want them to twitch, really, so well, I'll get away with it as a clue. I'll tell you what, you know, what's going to gonna happen now to you, and it's, well, it's going to serve you right at the end. A clue like that is going to bring out Brian's bonus. And that's you're not just... to them. You're not doing Brian's bonus. Listen, if you keep giving them clues like that, they're going to need about 10 Brian's bonuses. Yeah, they're good. Too good. So, ladies, how was the starter? Oh, yeah, young? Yes. Is he ready for another clue? Yes. All right, well, enjoy the fresh air, because your next clue is outside. Yes. <laughs> Shall we open the box? Well, I'm kind of hoping that they're going to think it's the stage actress. Especially because the Emerald Ring, but there's also the Emerald City in The Wizard of Oz. So I reckon they're just going to stay with The Wizard of Oz. Hopefully. Oh, it's a big ring. Mm. Mm. Sweet ring. Is that your owner? That's mine. Is it yours, yeah? Yeah. Somebody, ah, wicked witch. Jodie Prentice. Didn't she? Somebody just being in the Wizard of Oz, perhaps? Didn't yeah. she do that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lady Marguerite. Marguerite, I think, was in Wicked. So I think she's a possibility. It's, it's still very hard. Have you named our girls? Yes, yeah. still very hard. We're having 20 then. <laughs> the next clue will really help us. Well, hopefully, well, here it is. And it's your main course. This is lobster with double helping. Gosh, lobster. I don't think they're going to get the twin thing. But maybe they are clever. So we double helpings. What do we get out of that, girls? Well, it can either mean that the person's been in both, or it's twins. Or she's just a twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, good girls. Yeah, and everything's level, everything's identical. They're identical twins. <laughs> Someone's gonna say it. Someone's gonna say it. Twins. Singers. Wait for it. The only twins I can think of are the cheeky girls. I was gonna say that. The cheeky girls. They're not doing dishes tonight. Cheeky, cheeky. Is there any other twins that you could think of? Ain't that many famous twins. I don't know. I think it's Jedward. Would a Jedward? Would they be in the Wizard of Oz? Jedward? She's a Jedward. So they're in Ireland now, basically. It could be Jedward. Jedward could not cook a lobster. <laughs> oh no, Ruth, you're alive! They've just said a pop group that has Irish twins in it, and they still haven't got you. I think we're just clutching at straws here. Listen, they're going around in circles. This is a great time to do my fats facts. What's that? Right, you ready for my fans facts? Yes. Here we go. Favourite Irish boy band? Boys on. Sorry. Who's more vain, you or your sister? Neither of us are really vain, but if I had to choose, I'd choose me. Favourite Westlife singer? I'd give you Mark Feeney. And your best joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Brian McFadden. Brian McFadden, who? In that show business. Does it have to be twins? Could it be a double act? Well, it could be a double act, I mean, because it said yeah. double, didn't it? Right. Think of all the double acts, then. I'm not doing the dishes. <laughs> well, I know the Chuckle Brothers have done musicals. Or like pantomimes. Right. The Chuckle Brothers. She's thinking about them Chuckle Brothers all week. I don't know why. I think she's obsessed with the Chuckle Brothers. Oh. It wouldn't be somebody with a double barreled name, would it? Denise Van Arsen. I reckon you're going to have to get that bonus, but I'm not allowing you to give it. Brian's bonus is pretty much the highlight of this show. I wouldn't want the viewers at home to be upset and starve them of their entertainment. It's pretty simple. It's a singer and a dancer. It's either a double act or it's twins. Definitely. I think we're ready for another clue. You know, this is, this is the toughest. Yeah. Okay, the girls are miles off. We gave them their best clue, which are twins, and they came up with Jedward and the cheeky girls and didn't mention you, so it's looking good. Now, while you're on a hot streak, let's give them another clue. What have you got? The next clue I've set up like a 1970s school reunion upstairs, so there's little party hats and party food and stuff like that, so it's a bit of an odd to... Big reunion? Yes. Big clue. Big, big clue. This, this could be make or break for the girls and you. So, lovely ladies, how was your lobster? Oh, it's gorgeous. Nice finish to the week, wasn't it? I love lobster. <laughs> right, what did we get for the clue, girls? Well, two of everything. Yeah. So definitely a double act. I'm pretty confident it's twins. Yeah. Okay. So we were thinking of Jedwood. <laughs> or possibly uh, the uh, Cheeky Girls. So you've got a few names, a few ideas going on? Yeah. Feeling confident at this point? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe Brian's bonus might have to come out again tonight? <laughs> well, it is the end of the week. Right. right, ladies, would you like another clue? Yes. yes. Right, well, after that, lobster, you can stretch your legs. The next clue is upstairs. Well, class of 1970, yeah. so that's someone who's probably at school. Yeah. Somebody's either finished school then. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Party poppers, drinks, wanted on the wall. So I'm thinking Emma Bonte. Yeah, it's no, fast, no, no, no. Yeah, no, but no, no. no, no. Yeah, no two of Emma Bonte, though, isn't it? No. Emma Bonte. <laughs> Was there any sort of program? Oh, ah, no. hang on. Oh. What about a double act? Yeah. Ant and Deck. Ant and Deck. Ant and Deck, let's start Ant and Deck. Yeah, yeah but that would be put together. Ant and Deck in the same house up in Cheshire. We'll just break the mic, we'll just break the mic. Decide. No, no. no. 
Jedward, look at your face. You're on national television with chocolate all over your mush. Is it somebody who's been in Willy Wonka? Willy Wonka? <laughs> They've gone from the Wizard of Oz to a politician, to Jedward, to Willy Wonka. So this is definitely the witch. Rolling chocolate on a coast. So of okay then. So think of the word rolling. Rolling. It's a bit jagged. <laughs> 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 She's on the wrong track. I definitely don't agree with that. Who do we know that's been the witch that maybe is a double act as married together? Well, we haven't had anybody from the politics world all week. Um. <laughs> so if I hear political party one more time, I am going to... <laughs> well, I can only think of Ronan Keaton. <laughs> Ronan? Almost, no. 
Don't panic. We've got one more clue. Yeah. So maybe this will help us the next clue. I mean, we've got Brian's Yes. Yeah. They're definitely going to have to take Brian's one. Well, back over the same. To be fair, there is one more clue, and it's quite a good one. Well, what is it? Well, it's an anagram of okay. the word girl brand, right? Okay. So there's a letter missing, so they need to add L. Adele. Adele. Girl band, Adele. Exactly. Good clue. Exactly. They won't have a clue, though. <laughs> Ladies, how was that? That was wonderful. Yes, yes. I had a little bit of myself. Oh, yes. really nice. Very modish. Right, clue. What have we got? Oh, go. Just really struggling. The cauldron, I think, is to do with Wicked. Yeah. I think there was obviously a Wicked or a musical, I think. Um, but the double thing is throwing us as well, because we're thinking either a couple or twins. Or right, ladies, what well, would you like? Your final clue? Yes. yes. All right, well, your final clue... <laughs> Is an anagram. And there's two words. First word begins with G, second word begins with B, but you have to add a letter. What have you got to add? No, a spelling clue. That definitely is not for me. Starting with a D. D I G. No. D I A. Dragon? Mm -hmm. I was thinking gingerbread then, but. Okay. No. So we've got to think of a letter that's missing. What is it? At? This is painful. Painful. <laughs> It's going to be an A or an I. Hasn't it there? Next to the G. It's not that hard a thing to do. Yeah, we can't get it. Do you think the last word is bird? Something bird? <laughs> Only one letter missing. So girl band. She's from a girl band. Girl band. Get in, girls. That's fine. Oh, so I've got an L missing. An L. So I've got an L missing. Girls allowed. Let's go back to the cheeky girls. Cheeky girls. Cheeky cheeky. Maybe one of the girl band members have been in there wicked. Welsh. What's her name? Kimberly Welsh. The man that's old and took over from her. In that, um, whatever it was, um, you know, the, okay. green, the green man. <laughs> no, he's green. You know, he's green like a big... No, uh, he's like no but he's green. The Incredible Hulk in the Swamp. Why? It was a princess. Shrek, Shrek, Shrek. 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 Yeah. Well, they had a mention of Shrek at all. <laughs> Any more bands? Um, it's really tough, isn't it? Yeah. Right, i got to offer the bronze bonus. Let's see what happens. So, ladies, what do we get from this? A girl band. Okay. Yeah. Someone from a girl band. It is that time of the night where I offer you Brian's bonus. We are going around the houses. We've come up with so many different ideas, so many different names. We've got to go with the bonus. There's just no way we're going to get it otherwise. Okay, ladies, so are you going to take Brian's bonus? Uh, Brian's Definitely. Bonus. Yeah, we're taking the bonus. Okay, well, you know now you're playing for £400 if you get it right. And as usual, I'll be back. Oh, <laughs> It's time to don my double denim because tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Idel from Bewitched. I think I'm back. Hello, lady. Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. She looks like one of us. A really bad one of us. Remember, life can be a roller coaster. And when the sun goes away and the rain comes out, don't blame it on the weather, man. <laughs> and just remember, that's life, or as the French would say, c'est la vie. <laughs> when you went out the room, it's, yeah, an it's, an Irish, it's an Irish girl band, twins, I'm sure. No, 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 no! What was that young girl band that was Irish? No, no, no! Oh, we think the chorus! <laughs> okay, the chorus, we could go with that. No, it wasn't that. I'm, I was thinking then, boom, these things said, 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 I don't think it is, but the only thing I think we should go for is the Cheeky Girls. I think that's the only name we could possibly go with. Oh, shut up about the Cheeky Girls. Cheeky, Cheeky. So, Salaviv, didn't Jacob sing that? No, but we're going back to the 70s, I think. I know, but I'm kind of offended right now. 
Wait, wait, wait. Well, did he sing about the weatherman? About it's raining, it's raining men. Mm. But this is another person I'm thinking of as well now. Right, I've got to go and get the final answer. We can't let them stay here all night, guessing. All night. Nice. But you get in the phone book and they could go through that. But... Oh. All right, lovely ladies. It's that time I need your final answer. Cheeky girls. Cheeky girls. Cheeky girls. Yeah. <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> I'm not doing the dishes. As a team, you're going to go with cheeky girls? Yes, the cheeky All right. girls. Let's find out. My hands are clean. My hands are clean. I think the girls are just going to have to admit the feet tonight. Clueless we all are. Ladies, you've had a brilliant week. You've got... Three out of four rides so far, and you get it right now, it'll be four out of five, that's a pretty good week. Yeah. So, for the final time this week, you've had three courses, you had six clues, and once again, you took Brian's bonus, and you've given me the answer you think tonight's secret celebrity host is the Cheeky Girls. If it is the Cheeky Girls, your weekly total will be £1,700, mm -hmm. plus the Cheeky Girls will have to do their own dishes. Good. But if it's not the Cheeky Girls, unfortunately, you get nothing tonight, and you'll have to walk away with those poor nails all destroyed. Oh. All right, girls, for the final time this week, should we find out who it is? Yes! Secret celebrity host, could you please reveal yourself? I'm praying to God that she can get to come through them doors. Is it Del Lynch and Bewitch? <laughs> oh, girls, you had a stinker. I knew it was a girl band, but we just couldn't get it. We just couldn't get her name. For goodness sake, you were so close so many times. Oh. I, I didn't want you to get it because I don't want to wash my dishes, but I really kind of did. In a way. I was like, would you come on? It was funny. It was funny oh, watching you guys. Right, well, you know what's not funny, ladies? We're going to have to do the prize winning. Oh. Ladies, I know you know what's in here. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> Well, all right, that's Yay. for you, darling. Oh, what's back here? <laughs> now you don't have to ruin the nails. There you go. There you go, darling. There you go. Well, you have walked away with thirteen hundred pounds this week, so it's been pretty good, hasn't it? Right, babe, you enjoy your champagne, ladies. For the final time this week, you enjoy the dishes. Bye. We're still happy. Go golden girls. We might have lost tonight. But oh my gosh, and I've met three brilliant ladies. We're going to be friends for life. I'm on the Still going home with some money, so I'm happy with that. It's been the best week ever. Absolutely fantastic. Next week on Who's Doing the Dishes? So my dad owns a video store, so I get to watch all the different videos I want. That's cool. My take on EastEnders and Hollyoaks actress, Gemma Bissick. Crushing garlic. Crush it like you mean it. I love my body. And there's a brand new team. Infinity. Who really know their stuff. He literally licked the plate. While the diners play detective, I'm the one in real trouble. What do you think? I think whatever you tell me to think. But who will end up in the dishes doldrums?